Hey Anytime family, we have a great workout Wednesday for you today. And if you stick with us to the end, we included a bonus finisher for today that you can do at the end of the workout, or if you're in a pinch for time, this can be a great, quick, standalone workout. So we start pairing together some upper body, lower body exercises. We're gonna start with a hip thrust, okay? Or, a, or some people will call this a shoulder elevated glute bridge. So two ways you can do this. You can take a sandbag, put that on your lap, keep it in over the hips, want that bench right at the bottom level of our shoulder blades, okay? Bridge up, squeeze that backside, keep that chin forward, okay? So I'm keeping my eyes forward. I don't want to thrust and throw my head back, okay? If the sandbag is not hard enough for you, we can roll in a barbell. Now, when you use that barbell, you definitely want to make sure you either get a pad, roll up a mat, something to give you a little protection, but the exercise doesn't change. Okay, we get into that good glute bridge position, shoulders down and back, chin forward, bridge up, squeeze that backside. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps there. And then we're gonna head over to our cable machine. We're gonna come over to a straight arm pull down. Okay, work those lats, work that upper arm, work that core. Okay, so a little bit of a lean forward from here, arms stay nice and straight, and pull, pull that rope apart and right towards your hip pockets, okay? Again, you're gonna do four sets of 10 on both exercises. That's superset number one. All right guys, superset number two, we're gonna start off with some step ups and then work our way into some floor press. So with those step ups, we're gonna grab our weight. We wanna make sure those shoulders are locked down and back. That helps us prevent any swinging of that weight. And then I'm using that front leg to do all the work here. So really pushing through my top leg, trying to not push off that bottom leg. We're gonna do 10 reps and then switch legs, okay? From there, we're gonna set our weights down. If you need different weights, exchange those weights. We're gonna do a floor press. We wanna bring that weight up to our thighs, lay back with our weights, okay? Elbows and hands a little bit more tight to the body as opposed to wide, just a little easier on the shoulders. Press up to that ceiling, nice control down, okay? We're gonna be doing eight reps there. Really make sure we keep that, keep that low back nice and flat to the floor. Okay guys? So again, four sets of 10 on both those exercises and that'll complete superset number two. All right guys, our final superset before we get to that finisher today, we are focusing on some smaller muscle groups. Okay, we are gonna hit some muscles on the outside of our hips. Those help control, provide stability to the low back and the knee, and then we're gonna hit our abs as well. So we're gonna start with some mini band walks, okay? We wanna start with a little tension on the band, drive those knees apart, okay? And then it's small, controlled steps. Staying nice and level, trying not to bounce up and down. We're gonna do 12 reps to the right, 12 reps to the left, keeping that tension on the band, not letting those knees come together as we step, okay? So once you're done with that, we're gonna lay down on the floor. We're gonna do an alternating leg lowering. So we're gonna drive both legs up to the ceiling, hands down, nice control, reach that foot down to the floor, good control through the abs, and then don't let that top leg drop, okay? So we're trying to think of pulling that top leg back as I lower that bottom leg down. Now, you can do 12 reps total if you want it to be a little harder. You can do 12 each side. You're gonna do three sets of those exercises, and then we're gonna get into our finisher. All right, guys, here's our finisher. This is gonna be a great way to end that workout, really get the heart rate up and tax everything, okay? So what we're gonna start with is six reps on each exercise per hand, and then on the second set, it's five reps, then four, then three, then two, then one, okay? So we're gonna start with our cleans. Six dumbbell cleans to the shoulder. Once you hit that six rep, hold it up there. Six good deep squats, challenging that core, making sure our hips aren't sliding over, okay? And then we finish with a push press. Six push presses, a little bounce from those legs, power to the ceiling, and then we've gotta do the same thing on the left side. Once you complete those six reps, you go back down to the right side and you drop the reps down to five, okay? And again, you're gonna go six, five, four, three, two, one, complete that as fast as you can, and that'll really give you a great workout or a great finisher. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout.